Chris here with Hooks and Hammocks. Today, we're gonna to talk about planer boards. All right, planer boards. What are planer boards and what do they do? Planer boards allow you to spread your baits out away from the boat. They also help cover, they, they do that so you can cover more water and help keep your lines from tangling. When you get your planer boards, these just happen to be Uncle Lou's planer boards. There's all kinds of manufacturers of planer boards. Lots of great planer boards out there. We have Uncle Lou's and we love them. When you get your planer boards, there's gonna be a little bit of assembly. You're gonna get a set of planer boards and these posts that are on these planer boards will not be there. There is one screw and a few washers. You just put the screw through the hole, screw on your post. This may or may not be connected. It's just like a key ring type clip that holds your line. It's not a big deal when you're assembling these planer boards. Now let's discuss left and right. This is one of the things before I started using planer boards that confused me all the time. But the simplest way I can think to explain it to everyone is if you're standing at the at the back of the boat looking towards the front you hold your planer boards like this the side that the post is on is the side that it goes on the boat so if I swap these around and now both of these posts are towards the middle of the boat and I put them out like that they're gonna swim and cross each other so make sure that when you put your planer boards out the post is on the side of the boat that you want the planer board to be on. That's the easiest way for me to remember it. Then what will happen is once we hook this on our line, we're gonna clip this little clip on, on our line, lock it on, and it will that's permanent connection until we decide to take it off. This clip here will go up towards the rod tip and you just squeeze it and it opens. Clip that on your line and now your line will be stretched from here to here and as you put tension on the board, that's what makes it swim or plane away from the boat. So I'm gonna drop some lines in the water, show you how this works right now. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can either cast it out or you can just drop it down. I'm just gonna let it drop down until it hits bottom. So when you're dragging your baits, you wanna make sure you have enough line out to cover any of the depth of water you're gonna go through. So right now we're in 24 feet of water. If I know that I'm gonna hit 30, 40, 50 feet, I wanna make sure I've got at least that much line out. But for this demonstration, we're, we're on bottom now. We've got a good 25, 30 feet of line out. We're gonna call that good. I've locked it down. I'm gonna bring my rod in here where I can reach it, get to the tip of my pole. I take this clip that I said was permanent, put it on the line, and just close it. Now you can see that, that that's on my line. I take this clip, squeeze it so it opens. Now some of these have a little nipple inside. If you put your line behind the nipple, it won't come off until you take it off. This particular one just clips on the line. I'm just going to clip it up here towards my rod tip. Now you can see it's clipped on there. I'm gonna put that on just a little bit better. It's clipped on there. Then we just drop our planer board in the water and start letting line out. Now, if you watch that planer board, right now I'm letting it just free spool off my line. If I stop my spool, put tension on that, you can see it's starting, it wants to swim away from the boat. And that's what we want. So I'll let a little more line out. Put a little tension on it. Right now we've got the trolling motor set at 0.5 miles per hour. The more tension I put on this and the more line I let out, the farther it's gonna go away from the boat. We're not gonna spread them out too far today. 
we're going up into a cove, so it's a little bit narrow. I just, I'm gonna lock this down, put it in the rod holder. And then when you guys watch that board, you'll see it start to move out away from the boat. Now that that one's moving out away from the boat, I can drop this one down. Now I've got one that's coming straight off the back of the boat, dragging bottom, and I've got one off to the side of the boat, about 20 feet or so, and it's also dragging bottom. So I just doubled my coverage. Instead of having both lines going straight off the back of the boat, now I've got one 20 feet off the side of the boat too. So that's the that's one of the great benefits of planer boards is it, it allows you to cover more area and it also helps keep your lines from getting tangled up. If you have, you know, here in Indiana, we're allowed three rods a piece. If beautiful wife had three rods on this side of the boat and I had three rods on this side of the boat and we weren't using any planer boards, they'd all be going straight off the back and eventually they'd get tangled up. So that's what the planer boards do for you is they get you to help spread out all your baits, cover more area, find more fish. Okay, now let's go through a scenario. You know, the line, the planer board's clipped on our line, and somebody might be thinking, well, what happens when a fish hits? Well, on these particular planer boards, that clip that clips on the line, a lot of times when a fish hits that, it would automatically come unhooked. And then we still have that metal clip running through, or our line running through that metal clip that's not going to come off. So we're not going to lose our planer board. But in the event that you do hook a fish, and that planer board does not come unhooked on its own, you're gonna be fighting that fish and the planer board. It makes it kind of difficult to reel in. So I'm gonna demonstrate here, if we had a fish on, you can see how much tension's on that rod when I'm trying to pull that planer board in. Now imagine a fish on there too, it'd be double that. But if I just, if I just give it a quick pop, now I'm unclipped from my planer board and I can just reel it in. And once my sinker gets up to the metal clip on the planer board, it's just going to pull it all in and then I can I could net my fish I can do whatever I need to do change my baits take my planer board off whatever you need to do so now that we've brought this in I'll show you you undo this little metal clip slide it off your line now your planer board is off and you can suspend fish drag whatever you want to do so I hope this helped you guys out if you like this video, please consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, and leave us some comments so that uh, we can answer any questions you might have, and uh, we'd be happy to do that. And if you liked what you've seen here, go check us out, me and Telly on Hooks and Hammocks on YouTube, and uh, we'd be happy to have you as part of our family. Make sure you look at the description below. There's a lot of great links down there, and we'll see you on the next one.